A quarrelsome wife is like the dripping of a leaking roof in a rainstorm. Restraining her is like restraining the wind or grasping oil with the hand. Proverbs 27 verse 15 to 16 NIV. You may read the scripture and think to yourself, no, that does not apply to me. I'm not a nagging or quarrelsome wife. But do the following sound familiar? You ask for some things repeatedly, use words or statements that accuse or trigger your spouse all the time. You have a strong urge to control everything around you. You are behaving like a parent to your husband. You keep pushing your partner towards the point of rejection or resentment. You are too focused on their behavior all the time. If you can say yes, or even a partial yes to any of the above, then I think it is possible that you are a nagging or quarrelsome person. Have you ever woken up or just became so aware of a tap dripping in the kitchen or bathroom? It is probably one of the most annoying sounds in the world. The constant drip, drip, dripping, never ending and hitting that last nerve. Is that really the way you want your husband? and maybe even your children to feel about you? Ephesians 4 verse 29 NIV says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that may benefit those who listen. There are times where you may feel exasperated, like no one is listening to you or that you must do everything yourself. You may feel like you constantly have to say the same things repeatedly to the point where you start to leave spiteful comments and unhealthy remarks because you are so frustrated with the lack of support from your family. But the Bible is clear that you should only say things that are helpful for building others up so that it may benefit those who listen. Why don't you try building up rather than tearing down as a tactic today? Instead of saying, Oh, you haven't picked up your pants as I asked you for the millionth time. Maybe focus on something your spouse and your kids have done right or attempted to do to help you. Focus on the good things and compliment them on that. Also try and let go of the things that really don't matter in the greatest scheme of life. You don't have to win every argument just for the sake of winning. And ask the Holy Spirit to guide you to use words that are uplifting instead of tearing down. And pray about your situation. Give your cares to God and ask Him to help you get through all your daily work. Ask Him to give you wisdom to ask for help to those around you without nagging and tearing your loved ones down. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your words of wisdom to communicate to my husband and children and those around me what help I need today without nagging or manipulating them. I ask for your guidance, Holy Spirit, to put words of love and strength in my mouth to build those around me up with my words rather than tearing them down. Help me to steer clear from starting a fight when I don't get my way all the time. Thank you, Jesus, for showing me your unconditional love and that you showed the way through servanthood as well. I give all my frustrations, worries and lists of to-dos and ask that you will show me how to prioritize things and to share my load in an uplifting way with those around me. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.